the city of Beverly, the state of Massachusetts, the United States of America, the northern hemisphere of the planet Earth, the Copernican solar system of the Milky Way galaxy, in the only known universe. I want to be able to say that my city recognizes that it is situated in a larger world, a world that is in desperate need of high moral rectitude, but I can't yet. I want to be able to say that my city council is leading its city, my city, to recognize their responsibilities, not only to each other, but to all other human beings in this world. That the preservation of human life is the moral imperative of human existence, regardless of those who wish to make political expediency the currency of every interaction. But I can't, yet. I want to be able to say that my city council understands that the lack of sufficient vocational education seats for our high school students is directly connected to the way in which our country conducts its foreign policy, but I can't, yet. I want to be able to say that my city cares not just for its own prosperity and safety, but that of all people in our state, our country, and our world, because the citizens of my city and its leaders understand that we are all intimately connected to each other and that what happens to one of us happens to all of us. But I can't, yet. I want to be able to say that my whole city council has the courage to be more than bean counters and deciders of sidewalk improvement locations, and then it has the courage to say no to the total destruction of people, some of whose family members, friends, and colleagues live right next door, eat at the same restaurants, cheer for the same sports teams, sell them their groceries, treat their illnesses, vote in the same elections, and serve Beverly in myriad ways. But I can't, yet. I want to be able to say that all members of my city council know that what a genocide looks like, that it doesn't take an ornithologist to tell us that if it looks, walks, and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. That not only do they recognize the genocide when they see one, like most of the rest of the world does, they are prepared to do what they can to stop it by calling for an end to further financial support for Israel to continue the destruction. But I can't. Yet. I want to be able to say that the hearts of the members of my city council are broken by the reality that some 13,000 plus Gazan children, men with bodies damaged beyond repair, are orphans with no homes to return to. That when they look at their own children and grandchildren, they understand that their children are owed a world that cares about and for all children. And that because of that knowledge, they will act to protect the children of Gaza from further harm. That when their children and grandchildren say, Mom, Dad, Grammy, Grandpa, what did you do to stop the murder of Palestinian children? That they can say, I voted to pass a resolution to stop supporting the SWAT and send it to our president. But I can't. Yet. I want to be able to say that when the members of my city council sit down to a meal and thank whatever higher power they believe in for its bounty, that they know that the people in Gaza are dying of forced starvation. And because of that knowledge, they have joined with the more than 150 other councils and multiple governments around the world to call for a permanent ceasefire and cessation of military aid to Israel and a real resumption of humanitarian aid, including medical supplies, food, and water. But I can't yet knowing that it's not nearly enough, that it is only one act in a collective will for peace, my question to you is this. When will I be able to say these things? When will I be able to praise this council for doing the simple, most basic moral act that is required to stop the genocide in Palestine, to take out of the file and pass the ceasefire resolution set before you? When? If not now, when?